Moore, and I teach at Hawker Grove Middle School in Shawnee, Kansas. And I'm so, so excited that you're here to join me for this make and take creation station activity where we're going to be studying contour line with famous Kansas artist Elizabeth Grandma Layton. So we'll go through a couple slides and then we'll get to drawing. Make sure you have um, paper. I'm going to use a pen so you can see it, but you can use a pencil, marker, whatever you have kind of laying around. So Elizabeth Grandma Layton, and she was called Grandma Layton because she didn't even really start drawing until she was 68 years old. And she was born in Wellsville, Kansas. Wellsville, where are you at? Whoop, whoop. And then she died in Olathe, Kansas, which is close to where I live. Now, like I said, she started drawing at the age of 68, and she did it to try to make her mental health better. And so you'll see some of those topics come up in her drawings um, as we kind of look through these. So here's a picture of Elizabeth Layton, and then here's one of her art pieces that's my favorite. So let's look at it a little bit, close, a little bit more closely. Um, so this piece is called Celebrate the Arts in the 125th Birthday of Kansas. So if we do our analysis and we think about the title of the art piece, it's giving us a lot of information about what she drew. So when we look at it, I see the Topeka State Capitol building. Um, I see candles. I see sunflowers, stars. Um, and those are all symbols to help show us that it's about Kansas. And you see her drawing um, of herself there as well as her husband. Now, Elizabeth Layton is known for focusing on contour line. I'll say it, and then you should say it. My turn, contour line. Your turn. And contour line is the outline of a form as well as interior structure without the use of shading. So when we look at how Grandma Layton uses it, we see those contours on all those little fingers, up the shoulders, on the clothing, on the face, and it's all the contour. Here's another one of my favorite pieces. It's called I'm Into Art Therapy. And guess what? I'm into art therapy too. We see beautiful flowers on there. She's got a mirror. She's got her drawing utensil. And I love this because you can even see a portrait within the portrait. Very meta, friends. Everybody loves a good feast. Now, we're going to warm up with a practice called blind contour, which is a steady, continuous line defining the exterior of a shape or an object. And this will help you with your observational drawing. So where the eye goes, the line goes, but you're not looking at it. So I'm going to scooch my window of my face up over my drawing space so that I can't cheat. Now, when you're doing it, just make sure you don't look at your paper. You could be looking in your camera to see a picture of yourself. You could be using an object somewhere nearby. Um, but the point is to really not pick up your pen so that you don't lose your spot. So I'm going to start with my eye. So I'm drawing my eye where my eye goes, the line goes. So I'm kind of watching it, going over the bridge of the nose. That second eyeball on there. And these end up looking a little wonky, I'm going to be honest. Um, let's see, I've got my eyebrows. And then I'm going to try to draw my glasses. We'll see how this goes. Now I'm down to my nose. Again, where my eye goes, that's where my pen's moving. Now I'm onto my lips, get in my little chin area, on the head, going up to my hair. Got my little feather earring on one side. Okay, let's see how I did. My blind contour. Ta da! So you can see where I got a little bit off base, my piggy tails, my piggy buns are like right over my eyeballs, but that's a blind contour and it's going to help you with your observational drawing skills. Okay. So I want you guys to try that now. Let me see those blind contours. And you can pause the video if I'm going too fast. So Egon Schiele is another famous artist that liked to use continuous line in blind contours. It's called continuous line because we're not picking our pencil up as we're working.
So now we're going to look at some art pieces that use continuous contour lines. So we don't pick the pencil up, but this time we can start looking at it. Picasso was very well known for his single contour line drawings. Here are some gorgeous ones. I love how the contour, it follows the outline of the object and looks beautiful. Now, I wanted to share with you guys this really awesome app called Just Align. So it's an app that you can get on your cell phone, and it's an app that works in augmented reality. So you can hold your phone up like a camera, and it'll show you the room, and then you can start drawing in the room. And it only shows up on your phone. Obviously, you're not actually drawing on the walls, but you can even draw with friends on here. So I thought you guys might want to know about that. It's a really cool opportunity, cool app. Okay, we're going to try a warm-up now. So I'm going to scooch my face out of the way and I'm going to get a new piece of paper and we're going to try to draw one of these hummingbirds with a single continuous line. Now you can pick whichever one you want to, whatever degree of difficulty that you'd like. You could try multiple ones. The purpose is to not pick up my pen. Now I can look at my paper this time though. So I think I'm going to draw this little hummingbird down here. I'm going to figure out where I want my starting line at. I'm following it with my eyes, but then I'm also looking at my paper, looking at my reference photo. Okay, I might try another one. This is just a good warm up. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Don't be too hard on yourself when you're doing these single contour lines. This might be the first time that you've tried a technique like this. And if it feels uncomfortable, that usually means that we're growing. Okay, so I've drawn a couple here. For my continuous line drawings. These are my hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. I get to see them outside on my deck. So this was a blind contour. Didn't look at it. Single contour line did look at it, but still kept my pin down the whole time I was drawing. Okay. So that was our little warm up. And now I'm going to give you some choice. So if you look at the screen, there are tons and tons of different choices of single line or continuous line drawings that you could do. You could try an animal. You could do a face, a landscape, some botanical stuff, or a combination of all three. Okay, so once you've decided what you want to draw, you can get your paper set up again. And I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to try a portrait again. I'm going to try my portrait again. And I'm going to keep my pen down, and then I'm going to add some flowers in my hair, I think. So at this point, you are just doing whatever... Um, makes you happy. I wanted to provide some choice here so you don't feel limited. Um, okay, so I'm going to get started on mine and I hope that you're getting started on yours. Now, even though we're not together, um, which would make this obviously way more fun. So even though we're not together, I would love to see the drawings that you guys create from this. And so if you feel comfortable, I would love for you to ask a parent maybe to help you share these on social media. Or maybe you could even share it on your social media with the hashtag Kansas Youth Art Month 2021. And I will post that at the end of the session here. So I'm just getting started, keeping my single continuous line. Keeping my pencil down. JK, it's a pen, but you all get what I mean. Tracing over some of my previous lines.
look like Mickey Mouse ears. Oh, is my pen running out of ink? It happens, friends. And then now I really want to do some of those flowers that I see over there. So I'm going to love doing continuous line flowers. One of my students actually showed me this. Um, there's tons of TikTok videos. I don't know if you guys do the TikToks. Um, there's lots of videos online if you just search single continuous line. And it's so tempting to pick that pencil up. And sometimes I do accidentally, and that's okay. We can just put it right back down where we picked it up from. Um, I like how much more fluid it is. It feels a little bit more free. If a line isn't exactly how I want it, I'm super okay with it. Get some little stripes on my sweater. And then now that I've picked my pencil up, I can go back in and add some details. While this is not my continuous line, it's just going to add some interest for me. My little pen is very wimpy right now. So that is my continuous line portrait. I can't wait to see yours. You didn't have to do a portrait. You could have done um, anything. And so I would love to see what you guys have made. And so if you want to post your artwork on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Kansas Yam 2021 hashtag, we would love to see what you made. Um, so thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys had fun. If you want more videos from me, you can check out my YouTube channel, which is Miss MS Passmore on YouTube. Have a great rest of your day, and I'm so thankful that you joined me. Bye.